Welcome to Corel Video Studio Pro X2 Tutorials. Okay, back again. I was just saying I just dressed up a little bit of that video while you were not watching because it's very hard to, you know, teach and do it at the same time. So I just added one or two little touch, adjusted some timings and now we are ready to share our video or to save it. So I'll show you how to do it. On this uh, screen, this last tab says share. Click on that and you got all these different selections. You can create a video file, you can create a sound file, you can create a DVD disc, you can export it to mobile device, you can uh, play back the project and this is DV recording, HDV recording and share video online. The best thing to do usually is to create a video file. Once you save it as a video file, you can do whatever you like to do with it. You can later on burn a DVD disc from that or you can upload to YouTube or you can share it with other people in various ways. So let's see how to create the video file or save the file as a video file. So you click here. Can you see that? Okay, when you click on that, you get lots of options. Corel Video Studio Pro X2 gives you enormous amount of options. Uh, my camera saves the video clips as MPEG files. So I just go for MG MPEG optimizer, that one. When you click on that, it will give you various options and you just have to accept it right in the bottom, bottom, okay? Can you see that? Let me magnify it for you, here. See? Always accept this. You click on MPEG optimizer or whichever you want to do. I do MPEG optimizer because my different camera saves the video files in different formats. My one saves in MPEG form. So I do MPEG optimizer and when I click accept, it starts saving the file. I'm not doing it right now because I do not want to save it, but that's how it is done. Okay, thank you. So you have learned more or less the basic techniques of editing a video, dressing it up, adding special effects, adding audio files, doing picture in picture, you know how to do titles in various ways and you know how to add audios. The final step was to save it in a video file and I have just shown you how to do that. So I'm not saving it so I'll hit cancel right here. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Before we go, let's take a look at what we have created. Uh, in this tutorial, we have created a short video. The length is 1 minute 31.06 seconds. So let's take a look of, at what we have created. Just watch.
That was pretty good for a beginner, right? So we have learned the basic video editing things. Of course, uh, there are many finer details which you can learn yourself. But I'll come back for one or more tutorials to show you one or two additional tricks, special tricks that you can do to glorify your videos. Thank you for watching. This is Shobhan Singh. Goodbye.